Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video you guys are in for an absolute treat. So the title of the video is going to be, hey look at my 2002 four coin proof set that I recently bought. I'll sign along those lines just to keep it interesting. Um, there is other stuff, I end up buying uh, six coins or there was two sets and, and four coins. If you do like my content, you know, to support me by now, you can do it by liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let's go through them. You know, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through them from least favourite to favourite. So I've got a 1996 free coin proof set. Now my supplier said to me, he's, he's like, I want 10% over, and I said, I can't do it. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna get 10% over myself. We end up shaking hands at I can't remember actually. I can't remember what the actual percentage figure was. However, I bought this one to sweeten the deal on the 2002. So it was kind of, uh, can you take both? If you take both, I will do a cut rate on the 2002. And that's the set I was after. Sometimes you have to do that. You know, some of these coins are beautiful. One of them has a fingerprint. So a 1996 proof. Don't think the mintage was too high on these. I'm not going to check on camera because I've got too much to work through. But I, I sincerely hope you appreciate the coins today because I've got some nice stuff in. Let's see. I think it's the uh, double sovereign that has a fingerprint on it. Let's have a look. Yeah, there. I don't have a problem taking on coins like this. I never have done and I never will because the reality is most of them can be resolved and there's no shame in getting a PF69 or or whatnot. I'll, I'll take a 68, 69, 70. Some coins that I've had fingerprints on in the past have come back at 70 after restoration. So I, w I certainly wouldn't be put off. It's always a judgment call and you need to work out the individual value amongst the coin or the set. Uh, sometimes you have to do some mental counting one way or another for me again i paid probably slightly more than i wanted to i don't like this by the way i think this is tacky i i think it's i don't think it's great you know i don't know why they put it in make it out of silver or something but it's it's not great in my mind but yeah sometimes you have to make a judgment call about what the value is and whether or not you can make it work for me overall this is probably the set I least wanted. However, it did sweeten the deal for the 2002 that you will see at the end. Now, let's have a look at the next coin. So the next coin, again, this is a 1998 uh, Brilliant Uncirculate. Brilliant Uncirculate, sorry. It's a five sovereign. Let's try and get it out of the thing. So the Brilliant Uncirculate have a U here. Now, I only recently learned that myself. It's it's always a learning game when you're dealing with coins because the reality is coins have been around for a lot longer than I have and there's just far too many to know everything. Nice coin. In terms of value, this is probably worth maybe 17 to 1800 pounds. Whether I will get that or not is another matter. So I might trade it down, I might uh, I might throw it in as an offer or a part exchange. I haven't decided. Some people value them, some don't, but I don't want this on my books for too long. So it's a case of whether I want to cut, cut and run on it. it. Depends. There's that one. Coin number three. Now, I actually quite like this, believe it or not. So this is a Marconi 1901 wireless bridges the Atlantic I never knew what this was until I got this in today I've always quite liked the design but I never really understood what it was about it's a shame about the capsule it rattles a bit this might be worth eight to nine hundred pounds um, I bought this at an absolute still uh, there was a couple of coins so what tends to happen is my supplier will have a couple of coins and it, it try and pair them off uh, we're negotiating. I'll say, I don't want that one. However, I'll take the other one for the price you want if you let me have it for the price I need on the on, on this one. And that was the case with this. It's a good coin. Will I be able to find a buyer? It's going to be one of those things where realistically there's not going to be a collector, so I'm going to have to lower it 
Um, if I get top end, I'll be super shocked. That's okay. You know, it's it's a specialist coin. If I sit on it for a year, it's also okay. You know, I've got the, the firepower to do so and there's margin lined up. This is what I call, uh, typically I'd call a profit bomb. So it's one of those things where you want to trade your bread and butter and every once in a while you're going to have these profit bombs and they're going to really do the heavy lifting in terms of what you can earn for the month. And if this one comes in, you know, it's it certainly helps towards reaching my goals, that's for sure. There's that one. So that's a 2002. So that's three down. Uh, uh, I love this. Now, I spoke at length about Proof Brits. So this is a 1997 quarter. Brits are very Marmite in the sense that people like them, but they like the different year designs. I recently got in the 2007 and I got in the 2002 and the 2007 was an easy sale and the 2002 was, it was a hard one. Um, I ended up giving away, or pretty much giving away the one ounce 2002 proof because I just needed it off the books and it, it just worked in my favor on that occasion. It's not always the case. I don't always do it. You know, I don't. I don't mind leaving something for the next guy. That's that's not a problem. My end. This is a nice coin. It's certainly a candidate for a seventy in my mind, from what I looked at prior. Will it be getting graded? I don't know. In in terms of what I got it for, it's probably a five hundred pound coin, and. Is grading going to materially add to it? It would need to get a 70. At a 69, I'm wasting my time. At a 70, you're probably pushing the 600 mark. But it's the time lost. That's that's what I have to think about as well. It's nice that I can sit on some coins ever since I got my bounce back loan in. However, they're sitting on coins and there's they're sitting on coins. Sometimes it's better just to trade in and just be done with it. I really like this coin. I like the design. Uh, yeah, so that's probably a 500 pound coin there. This is this is my favorite out of the lot, but the 2002 is what I'll show to me. This screams quality, it oozes class. So, this is a biometallic ten dollar coin, it's part platinum, part gold, and it's got a small alloy. I don't think it says what the alloy is. No, it just says alloy. So 48% platinum, 48% gold, and 4% alloy. Let's have a look. I really like this coin. I really, really like this coin. It's not a shipwreck coin, but I like this. I think buy metallic coins are great. I think it just works, you know. I, I really think it does. Okay, the theme's not going to be for everyone. However, it's it's American. People do collect American. In my mind, it's a strong design. I think this is very sellable. This side, okay, this is quite cool. You probably think Olympics if you didn't know what it was, but it's nice. It's a nice coin, and I think someone would snap that up. In terms of value, what I think it's worth, maybe. Maybe 750 to 800 on it. Um, I've seen them go for more online. It's just one of those things. So this, I end up getting this in with the Marconi and that's the one where we kind of haggled over it because I wanted this one and he wanted a certain price and I managed to get the deal on the Marconi because of it because I think he just wanted shot. Which I can understand. It's when you're not a specialist coin dealer, these are the types of coins that can trip you up. I don't mind sitting on it. Again, I love it. I think it oozes class. I love the box. I love everything about it. Now let's get to the final piece, which we're all waiting for. This is a 2002 four coin sovereign set. There is a slight issue on the one. I will go through it. So yeah, I've been after 
one of these for a while. This is probably my favorite special year sovereign design. I said to the, the suppliers, I, I, I really want to keep this. I want to get the big five in the five sovereign and I want to get them graded and I want to put them in my collection. Is this maybe a bridge too soon for me? Potentially, I don't know yet. The set's worth good money. Let's have a look. Beautiful coin. Marks on the capsule. So this is the quintuple, the five. I think I saw these at the Sovereign Rarities auction. I think one went for 3K. Don't quote me on that though. I'd, I'd have to double check, but I know the quintuples in in the PFs go for crazy money. If if this graded a PF seventy, I'd I'd probably put it up for auction. So there's that one. The double. such a beautiful design beautiful design now the singles where the issue is there is a mark it's not a scratch it is a mark and I think it's something that can actually be resolved you can see it. it's just up here I reckon that can be conserved But I might actually try my arm in grading. I might grade the set. If I can keep on to it, I'll grade the set because it, it's worth. If you hit the 70s, it is worth it. Or it is worth it in the UK. So there was a bit of a discussion between me and a gentleman from Australia. It could be the case it's not worth it in Australia. Um, different markets react differently to different coins. And that's okay, you know. I I like that because it gives me the opportunity for an arbitrage play, where something's undervalued in one market, I'll bring it over, and I value it differently in this market. It's actually kind of lucrative for me. I've done it in the past. Beautiful, beautiful set. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up. I'm just gonna show you the quintuple again. Look at that. Beautiful coin. I think it's one of the best designs they've they've come out with. So yeah, tell me what you think. Do you did you enjoy today's haul? Do you feel like you've been in for a treat? And there's more quality to come. I've I've got some auction bits that are one coming. I've got some I've got forty silver ounces from Germany from Le Grand Mint. Uh, Mass strike a deal with the director. Beautiful, beautiful coins. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.